Hi everybody, Kerry from Essential Nails. I'm going to talk a little bit about poppies. Now of all the things that I do at work, this is the one thing that I'm probably most proud of. I couldn't paint poppies two years ago and I've practiced and practiced. I've come up with a very, very simple, very quick and easy way of painting poppies and they look fantastic. Some of you might know I'm a veteran. I didn't serve as many years in the armed forces as I wished I had but I'm very proud of an incredible family history that I have and every single member of my family have all served in the British Armed Forces. My mum and dad and both of my grandmas, both of my granddads, my great granddad, my cousin and myself, we've all served the Queen and country. So this time of year is quite meaningful to me and I've done a little demonstration of the poppies that I paint using the nail trainer hand. It's quite simple and I really do hope that if you enjoy the video and you also do some remembrance nails this year that you would post them on the Facebook page please and show me how you've got on. So starting off with the nails that I've prepped with a bit of gel polish, one has some chameleon flakes in and I've top coated them and just buffed the shine off. I have essential nails paints, a black and white, a red and a green and my angled shader brush. So I load the paintbrush by, point, pointy, by putting the pointy end into the paint and then the shorter end and so that you have both colours of paint on the brush at the same time. And you're going to use the back of your hand here just to blend the paint slightly on the brush. You don't want too much paint on your brush as you don't want to have really thick paint on the surface of the nail. So here we go with a little wiggling and a little twisting motion of the paintbrush. You're just going to lay petals onto the nail. This is a very bold poppy and I'm using the striping brush for the leaves. I'm not going to put much detail in this one. And a little bit of white is a highlighter just to define the petals. So this is a little bit more detailed. And a bit more rustic. So this is probably a little bit more abstract, but the technique is exactly the same.
So the third one, there are some chameleon flakes in the clear gel polish, which obviously don't show up now because the surface is matte from buffing. But after the poppies are painted and the top coat is on, they will become shiny again. This design is so much more subtle. I'm not going to use a lot of white highlighter. They're just going to be in their raw form. And the matte flower contrasts against the glitter that's underneath. Onto the final one here. This is a lot harder to paint over black because you can't see quite so easily where you've been with your paintbrush. A little trick to this painting, when it has to be so fine and detailed, you can see that I rest my painting hand on my supporting hand using my little finger. And it just stabilizes your hand and your paintbrush whilst you're painting. Painting onto a black surface requires a lot of highlighting. So I'm using two different shades of green and some white. There's the white for the highlighter. Just where the light would hit the petals and the leaves naturally. And it gives the painting that 3D effect. They're very easy and very quick to do in salon and hopefully shouldn't take you very long. I've got both top coats here. I want to show you the contrast using the shiny no white top coat over this bold poppy here. And then I'm going to use the velvet top coat. You can then see the effect that using a different top coat over the top of painting creates. This one again, I'll do shiny because of the glitter underneath. And then the matte velvet finish over the black nail as well. Okay, so all are top coated and they need to be cured in the lamp. When they're cured, wipe off the sticky residue of the velvet top coat coated nails. And you can see how different all of the poppies look, but the technique's the same for all of them. 
Some just have a little bit more detail. Some have a little bit more highlighting. And the matte top coat makes a big difference. I really hope you've enjoyed watching. I'd really love to see any Remembrance nails that you paint this year. Here are just a few of the sets that I've done this week. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you again soon.